back, God damn it. Like I said, I don't make episodes. It's the beginning. And it's the motherfucking end. If you ain't at least 50%, don't even worry about being 45, 35, 25. Because you fuck, you done. It takes 250 for the B100. And if you can't get the 250s, you will never reach 100. So you ain't got to worry about 85, 95, 55, 45, 65, 75. But your shit ain't going high enough. You ain't reaching the right potential. Your motherfucker out here burning your rubber, spinning your wheels, and you ain't really going nowhere. And you ain't gaining no momentum because you just stuck in one spot. Going nowhere, doing nothing, wasting your time, precious time, occupying precious space, air and opportunity. Where you fucking supposed to be moving. Not just spinning rubber standing in one fucking spot, making a whole bunch of smoke and a whole lot of noise. I look at people like that in the same form of fashion, bodies. You run around doing the Scooby Doo and shit. That means you're running in you're running in place. Yeah, you're running in place, motherfucker. How in the fuck you can't see you you running in place? Yeah, that sun really blinging back there right now. I can't tell God to stop the sun from shining, but what I can do is tell you, all you motherfuckers out there, y'all need to start watching the sun shine, watching that bitch come up and go down. God gave you two choices, you're going to live or you're going to fucking die, or you're going to die trying, motherfucker. You only get two choices, and you got to make one, one decision out of both of them two choices. You're going to live? Or you're going to die. That's the middle finger. That means fuck you and everything that you stand for. And how you coming. Because you choose not to live. You choose number one. You can have all the fun you want. Take all the time that you need. And God going to take that time out with you. Instead of one set of footsteps. It's going to be four motherfucker. Yeah. Four down nigga. God wherever you move. He moving around with you. Wherever you go, he going to. Whatever you go through, he going through with you. Yeah. You ain't got the video. You ain't got to even take a picture. You ain't got to write no diary about this shit. All you got to do is just keep on living. You got some crazy motherfuckers out here. All of them ain't got really too much good sense. I found that out the hard way. Dealing with your own people. Them be the ones. They'll teach you something. All you got to do is observe and pay attention. It ain't penitentiary. Pay attention, motherfucker. And try not to get it twisted. Because a lot of people do when it comes to their people. And you think your people won't do you nothing wrong, but your people be the main ones that'll fuck over your ass. Bend you over and put a dick in you. So big, so long. You think you've been fucked by a donkey or a horse. You think you've been to the donkey show. Nigga, you gotta go to Mexico. Ain't nobody fucking no horses and no donkeys around here. Life ain't for beggars. It's for those that choose to do the right thing. Because you could do anything wrong. It's so simple. It's easy. It's easy to make a motherfucking mad face and a frown. It don't take no muscles. Your shit just go to sagging down. It's hard as a motherfucker to make a smile. Because it's going to take a whole lot of face muscles to push that motherfucking lip all the way up until you look like a clown. You look like Pac-Man, motherfucker. A smiley face. I don't get it when it comes to people when you just run around and you just choose to be fucking angry with the world because of the choices and the decisions that you made in your life. And to each his own, you got to keep what you fucking create. And whatever you create, you got to live with it for the rest of your motherfucking life. 
You come along, you live alone. And you leave alone. That's the way the book is. That's the way it was created. That's the system. That's the design. And then can't nobody break it. Not even God. Because he created it. Why would he break it? You ain't come here to be here forever. You came here to make a difference. You came here to do something good. A lot of people just choose to do bad shit. I think that's what it is because we're all human. And we're all entitled to our own mistakes and we're all entitled to our own uh, situations and, and, and repercussions and consequences that come behind your actions. To every action is a reaction. To every reaction is a counteraction. Just like a car wreck. A car wreck just don't just happen. A fire just don't just happen. An explosion just don't just happen. It's actions and steps to that shit. I'm telling you. This is life. Before you go take a piss or a shit, you got to first make an action. To that action is a reaction. To that action, that reaction is a counteraction. That means you got to first, your body gonna tell you. You gotta go take a piss or shit. Okay. The next thing you need to go do. You need to do one or you need to two or you need to do both of them motherfuckers. That means your stupid ass needs to sit down, motherfucker. Somewhere. Comfortable. Not standing up straight. Sitting down. In a sitting position, motherfucker. After that, come to clean up. That's the counter action. You understand me? After the reaction. The action was when your ass needed to go and you was running trying to find somewhere to go. To let it go. Let it the fuck out. Because it can't stay in you. It'll kill you. Dead as a doorknob. Your body ain't supposed to hold shit and piss in it. It's supposed to let it out. We are all humans, no matter what color you is. No matter what nationality you might be or where you might be from. You got to go take a piss in the shit and you must eat and you must fucking drink and sleep. That makes you a human being. In the rules, we all equal and human beings. Unfortunately, people don't believe like that. They still living in the 1800s. And I tell people every day, the 1800s shit going to get you fucked up. I wouldn't give a fuck if it was 1801. I wouldn't give a fuck if it was 1805. I wouldn't give a fuck if it was 1814, 1815. Anything past the 1800s was on and popping. I don't give a fuck. People were doing fine before the 1800s, boy. I'm telling you, you had black folks that had banks, they had money, they had power, they had all kind of shit. They got script of all that. Along with all the rest of the monkeys that was on them plantations. Through all these southern states, that's plantation still. Louisiana but a plantation. The whole fucking state. I don't give a fuck where you live at in it. That's why I don't see how they can divide it up. You got estates. You got garden districts. You got nice neighborhoods. You got the hood. You got projects. Man, it's all a plantation state. All these places ain't nothing but a plantation for people to live. In the workplaces, ain't nothing but plantation houses, too, because you got plantation owners and overseers. Yeah, you got house niggas and field niggas. You got niggas in the house, and you got niggas out there in the field. I'm a field nigga. I always been in the field, but I could work the house, too. I'm a bad motherfucker in the house. I said, don't trust motherfuckers in the house you can't trust. Not around his churn. Not around his animals. Not around his wife. Not around his pride possessions, his guns, and all this other good shit. You got to be an outstanding nigga. A super extraordinary nigga. And I am that. I am to be trusted. I'm something to be respected. Especially around kids. Old folks. People shit. 
people's property, people's wives, people's livelihood, people's worldly possessions. I can be respected behind that shit and around that shit because I'm not going to fuck with your shit. Please excuse me. She just sneezed. That's the truth. <laughs> That's tr God bless you. God bless you, darling. Yes. See? I didn't say sneeze. I didn't make that up. I shoot. Telling the truth. I thank God do everything for a reason. God put me with this woman. God took me away from all them evil people. Took me out them different messed up situations and places that I used to be involved in and people I used to be hanging around in. God took all that away from me. And I ain't mad. And I ain't sad either. I'm happy actually. Yeah. Because you still got a lot of people that's running around out there dealing with the same folks and wonder why they still got problems. Because you still hanging on to the past. You got to cut that line off. You got to let that go. Mm. Excuse me. You got to let it go. You got to cut that shit off. You got to cut them loose. Yeah. Because a lot of people, you can't change them. You can't help them either. You're going to fuck around and you're going to destroy yourself. Trying to help somebody that don't want to be helped. They don't want to be loved. They don't want to be respected. They don't care about being rejected. They don't give a damn about none of that. All they worried about is this worldly shit. This materialistic shit that's going to perish. It's going to corrode these, going to steal it. It's going to rot away. Ain't nobody going to have it. Because you come here into this world to live and you die. But you ain't got to die today. You ain't got to die tomorrow. You ain't got to die no time. God brought you in this world to live, prosper, and live a long life like everybody else. And you got all these people that's running around making it out like you came here to die. No, motherfucker, you came here to survive. Life is about survival. Why you think you got animals in the jungle and all kind of shit out in the ocean and the sea that'll eat anything up out of there in order to fucking survive? I mean, people need to get their head out their ass and screw their neck back on their fucking Shoot the head back on their fucking neck, on their shoulders, where it's supposed to be at, instead of stuck up your ass. You can't see shit. You're walking around with no fucking head out in the middle of the darkness. You ain't trying to see the light because you can't see shit. Your head stuck up your ass. You need to pull your head out your ass and stick it back on your neck. Make sure it's fucking tight. Pack a bag, Lynch, because you in for a long fucking flight. They show you this every day on TV, television, social media, and all that stupid ass shit. And people just, they pick what they want out of it, like you do the Bible. They pick through it. They pick what they want to believe. They pick what they want to prescribe. They pick what they want to image. That's why you got people putting God in all kind of different images. They got all kind of different gods. The Bible speaks of just having one. There's only one God. And if anybody out here, anywhere, worship any other God besides that one God, you're going to perish. You ain't going to live long. God give you long life. Long jeopardy. The people that they talk about in the Bible, <coughs> look how long they live. <coughs> they say when Moses came, went up the hill, he was like a young man. Come down, he was like he was fucking 100 years old. And he wasn't up there long. That's the thing about it. I don't get it. And I look at some of these young folks, old as shit. And they ain't never saw God. Never spoke with him, never been with him. Never talked with him, never sat down with him, never looked him in the face or nothing, and they old as shit look like grace. Well, you know these motherfuckers out of place. You lost all your hair, all your teeth, your vision, and all kind of other shit. 
going on with you. And you young motherfuckers. You spiritually sick. That's what the fuck it is. I'm telling you, spiritually sick. It says so that the mind is weak, the body will be weak too. So that the mind is strong, the body will be strong also. So that the mind think it, the body will bow forward. Everybody don't know. Because they family ain't never took the time out to introduce them to the Bible. The biblical constructions, why living on earth? They reading the blips constructions before leaving Earth, and that's not good. No, you ain't trying to go nowhere. You definitely should be trying to go to the motherfucking moon or like any other planet. You can't live on Earth. Where you gonna live at? You gonna live nowhere. You can't stay where you stay at, where you come up at. How you gonna go somewhere else and live and make it? You can't. It ain't gonna happen. It's a mirage. It's 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 like you being out in the desert and you seeing some shit that ain't now. You're drawing a pretty picture of that shit in your mind because your body is fighting against itself to survive. Oh yeah, the body and everything, the mind and everything is created unique. It'll do some super extraordinary awesome shit in order to fucking live, in order to survive. It ain't gonna just shut down because that's what you figuring it's gonna do. No, it's gonna fight. It's going to fight. Yeah. And everybody come with the same mechanism. Your body fight in order to fucking survive. I don't give a fuck what kind of situation it is. The supernatural instinct going to kick in that you need to fucking breathe. You need to fight. You need to inhale, exhale. Yeah. Your mind is all come from the brain. Yeah, your brain tells you, your central nervous system tells you a whole lot of shit. It's magnetic impulses that come from the top of the fucking head. Yeah. Yeah, they work every nerve on your body. Yeah. They micromagnetic nerve impulses that shoots down from the top of the, the cranium, which is the central nervous system, to operate everything on your body. People don't understand that when you get in the head, the reason you're delusional, you fucked up, or you might get knocked out because the blood then been shook up in the top of your goddamn sugar bowl. Your sugar bowl is stirred the fuck up. I love you. Both. I love you. I love you. I know a whole lot about concussions. You know, when you start getting concussions, you can't get no more concussions. You concussion out. The only thing you can get is some trumpets and some motherfucking... Uh, hey, who, who is that white guy with the stringy looking hair that played a fucking uh, saxophone? Who is that guy? Michael Bolton. No, Michael, no, no, that's not Michael Bolton, man. No, man. Yes. I'm talking about the white guy I used to listen to all the time. Da, na, 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 na. Yeah, I can do whatever you want to, but you need to tell me this man's name. What? Tell me what this man's name is. That's not Michael Bolton. Michael Bolton don't play a saxophone. You say he played a saxophone. He played, a, he played the small sax. He could play the big sax and the small sax. But he preferred a small one. What's that man name? He a white guy. Cool as the fuck. His, his music rank uh, King Supreme. I guess fuck his name, huh? I'm thinking, sweetie. I'm not perfect. But you a Caucasian person and you don't know the name? You don't know the man's name? Kenny G. Kenny G. Kenny motherfucking G. Kenny G. 